to find the area of this rectangle, we will use the formula for area, which is length times width. Uh, the length is always the longest side. Um, so we simply plug in those values. For length, we plug in a 3. For width, we plug in a 2. So the area ends up being 6. Um, and if we just said 6 inches, that would imply a line that's 6 inches long. So to let everyone know that you're talking about area, you have to put inches squared. Or you can also write 6 square inches. Either one of these means the same thing. Um, with this particular one, we can kind of illustrate that more clearly. So let's uh, show that. If it's 2 inches from here to here, then we'd say it's 1 inch to right there. Okay, And if it's 3 inches from here to here, then I can divide this up into 1 inch squares, well, 1 inch um, columns. And you can see that you end up with six square inches, which is exactly what we found using our calculation. Now, many shapes, if it's area, we'll refer to it as square inches, even if it's a circle or a triangle. Um, but with this particular one, we can illustrate it very clearly. All right, we'll look at the next one. And we'll use the same formula. Area is equal to length times width. So for this one, the length is 4.7 meters. And that would be times 9. Uh, I use parentheses since I already have a, a decimal point. I don't want to put a dot there. And we just have to do our calculation. Whoop, I'm kind of sliding off here. So um, we'll do that down here. And remember, we have one decimal place, so we have to move the decimal in one. So the area is equal to 42 and 3 tenths square meters. Next we'll find the area of two parallelograms. Let me zoom out a little. Okay. And uh, something I want to point out here The formula for the area of a parallelogram is base times height. <clears throat> In a parallelogram, they're going to indicate the height with this dotted line, and they'll use a box to show that it's at a 90 degree angle with the base. Um, if this is 10 feet, then you can assume that this is 10 feet. And we don't have to make a big deal about which one's actually the base, because um, they're the same. All right, so if area is simply base times height, all we have to do is plug in those uh, values. So we have 10 times the height is 8 and 1 quarter foot. And obviously, we can't multiply a mixed number. So we'll make 10 a fraction, 10 over 1. And we'll also make 8 and 1 fourth an improper fraction. So that would be 32, 33 fourths. Uh, we're multiplying here. And I always want to cancel when I can. Um, 2 goes into 4 twice, 2 goes into 10 five times.
So five, well, five times 33. We better do a little safer calculation here. All right, so I get 165 over two. I'm perfectly happy with that because it's simplified, but we can also write it as a mixed number. So two goes into 165 82 times with one left over. So it's 165 over 2 square feet or 82 and a half square feet. Either way of writing that's perfectly acceptable. If you look at the next um, parallelogram that they give us, they've put the height indication off to the side. Okay, so they're telling you the height way over here. They could easily just slide this right into the middle of it and put it right there. It would still be three and a half inches. So you just need to get used to reading um, how they label these diagrams. All right, we already have our formula for area, so Area is equal to base times height. For the base, we plug in our 3. For the height, we plug in 3 and 1 half. Again, you can't multiply a mixed number in this form. You have to make it an improper fraction. So I'll make this 3 an improper fraction by putting it over a 1. And then that's 7 halves, we change that to an improper. Nothing will uh, reduce or simplify. So we end up with the area is equal to 21 halves square inches, or we could write that as 10 and 1 half square inches. Either way is acceptable. Now we're going to look at some triangles. And this will help you get a sense of some of the different triangles that you'll be looking at. Uh, the first one, they've indicated the height inside the triangle. Again, the height is attached to the base with this box, which indicates they intersect at a 90 degree angle. The formula for the area of a triangle is one half base times height. And incidentally, a lot of times um, people will point out how similar this formula is to the formula for a rectangle. So let's take a real quick look at that. Uh, remember we said for a rectangle, the formula is area is equal to length times width. And if you think about it, if you draw a diagonal across your rectangle, you get two triangles, and each one is half of the rectangle. So the formula, I'm shading that in now, all right. So the formula for this green triangle down here is one half and then instead of saying length and width we say base and height. Okay, so that kind of helps you keep the formula straight. Now back to calculating this one. Um, so we'll have one half Uh, the base is 26. Uh, notice I have a fraction here, so I want all fractions. I'm going to write that as 26 over 1, and the 8, I'll write that as 8 over 1. Um, we can cancel a little bit, make our lives easier. So 2 goes into 2 once. Um, 
Well, it doesn't matter which one I cancel. I'll cut 8 in half. 2 goes into 8 4 times. So all we end up having to calculate is 4 times 26. So let's see, area, uh, that would be 80 and another 24. So the area is 104, the units are inches. And again, since we're talking about area, you have to put um, inches squared. Okay, here's a, another triangle. We'll be using the same formula, but the triangle certainly looks a little different. The only two numbers that we need here, remember the, the formula for the area of a triangle, I could put um, one half base times height, but you notice we're working in decimals here. So instead of one half, I'll just write five tenths base times height. And all we need are the base and the height here. In fact, I could zoom in a little. So this is your base, and it's 8.6 yards. This is your height, 4 and 1 tenth yards. You don't need this. You don't need that. All right? So we have is 5 tenths times the base is 8.6 and the height is 4 and 1 tenth um, and just crank out some calculations here so let's take care of these first two Remember, you have two decimals there, so you come in two places. So we got 4.3, 4 and 3 tenths. And we just bring down our 4.1. I'm just putting parentheses here to indicate its multiplication. Um, so we've taken care of these two, and that's how we got our 4 and 3 tenths. And it makes sense. 5 tenths is half of 8.6 makes sense that that would be 4 and 3 tenths. All right, so now uh, 4.3 times 4.1. And again, two decimal places. You come in twice. So the area is 17 and 63 hundredths. The units are yards, so this is square yards. And we'll do one more. We have our formula. Um, we're in fractions now, so I'm going to say area is equal to one-half base times height. From, I want to be clear, from here to here is one and one-fourteenth inches. That's your base. From here to here is 1 and 3 11 inches, that's your height. So we have 1 half base and 
and your height. Alright, so we certainly can't multiply in that form. So one half, that's 14, 15 over 14. And then here we have 11, that's 14 over 11. And notice we can do some real nice canceling here. 14 goes into 14 once. So all you have to do is multiply 15 times a couple ones, that gives you 15. 2 times 11, so the area is 15 20 second. The units are inches, and you always have to say squared if you're talking about area. Oh, I guess we have one more down here. Um, and I'll zoom out a little. So just to, this is really just to give you an idea of the different ways that they might write the triangles and just so you could be accustomed to recognizing them. Uh, we're still using our formula. Here it doesn't matter if you use a decimal or a fraction. I'm going to use a fraction in the hopes that something will cancel. So it's one-half base times height. Uh, the base, it doesn't really matter which one you call the base and which one you call the height. Uh, since we're multiplying, it can go in any order. So I'll call 14 my base. I'm going to write it as a fraction. And I'll call 7 my height. I'm going to write that as a fraction. And once again, we can do some canceling. 2 goes into 2 once. goes into 14 7 times. So all we have to do is multiply 7 times 7. So that gives us 49 over 1, so I'm not going to bother write that. It's area, so we have to put yards squared.